Mag-i-intro tayo labo ka na maingay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be reviewing and swatching the Rebel Quads from Juvia's Place. If you want to see how these palettes perform and know what I think about them, then please keep on watching. Alright, so as I have mentioned, today we will be talking about the Rebel Collection from Juvia's Place. This collection includes four eyeshadow quads, namely the Rebel Honey, the Rebel Army, the Rebel Mints, and the Rebel Grace. So as you can see, I only have three out of the four palettes here, and that is because, to be quite honest with you, I'm not really interested in getting the gray one because I do not use any silver gray or gunmetal shades on my eyes, and that is just my personal preference. So before we go ahead and start swatching these eyeshadows, let's talk about these quads first. So these retail for $10 each. They were released during the 4th of July week, and that's when I actually got them. Now, they do ship in the Philippines, however, it took 7 weeks to arrive, which is why I'm only doing this review now. So as mentioned in one of my previous videos, I did order these from their website during their 4th of July sale. Of course, these were not on sale since they are brand new releases, um, and it arrived on August 25th, so 7 weeks. In terms of the shipping fee, it costs $15 which is roughly around 750 pesos depending on the foreign exchange rate. This is what they look like. Let me just give you guys a closer look. So the design on each palette is the same and it is absolutely stunning. And this is what the quad looks like inside. There is no mirror. For the mint palette, you get two shimmers and two mattes. For the army, you get the same thing, two mattes, two shimmers. And for honey, you get one shimmer and three mattes. Now let's go ahead and swatch all of these. So these are the four swatches from the Mint palette and they are absolutely stunning, especially the two shimmers. They're all very pigmented and I did wipe my finger before swatching the next color. Just in case you were wondering or if you're worried. And so this is what they look like. Now let's move on to the Honey palette. And this is what these four shades look like when swatched on the skin. As you can see, they are so rich and vibrant. That gold is everything. And finally, let's go ahead and swatch the Army palette. And this is what the shadows from the army quad looks like. They really are army green. I absolutely love these, especially the two shimmers and this green shade. This one is a very, very dark olive green. It's so dark, it's almost brown. <laughs> or black, actually. Alright, so now that we've swatched and seen what these look like on the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and create a simple eye look for you guys. I just want to show you guys how it applies on the eyes as well as how it applies using brushes.
Okay, so let's talk about my final thoughts on these palettes. Now, in terms of pigmentation, they are superb. They are highly pigmented, as you can see. And they are very easy to work with. They are very easy to blend. They are not powdery at all. And I did not experience any type of fallout, which is a good thing, especially for pigments or eyeshadows as pigmented as these ones. In terms of the price point, $10 is not expensive at all. However, if you do convert that into Philippine peso, it costs around 500 pesos, which is, for the average Filipino, quite a lot. However, you do get four shades of eyeshadows for 500 pesos. So 500 divided by four, that's 125 pesos per eyeshadow. And to be honest, 125 pesos for a high quality single eyeshadow pan is not bad at all. I highly recommend these quads, especially if you're someone who's into that very vibrant and very pigmented eyeshadows. I know that there are some people who prefer muted eyeshadow looks, but look at this. It's so pretty. I absolutely adore these palettes and love everything about them except for the fact that they do not have a mirror. However, I do understand that if Juvia's Place did consider adding a mirror, they wouldn't be able to sell it at this very low price point. Um, yeah, so that's it. I like everything about it. They are pigmented, they are not powdery, they apply smoothly, they blend out easily. There is no fallout at all. And I am very, very impressed with this palette. If there are any other products that you would like me to try or any type of look that you would like me to do a tutorial on, just comment down below. And that is pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't. All of my social media handles will be listed down below. So go ahead and check that out if you want. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.